Hi, Sheree Hansen here. I want to invite you to come aboard my written blog at sheriehanson.com and join the other 70,300 subscribers. Choo choo! This one is called Always Now. <clears throat> I remember when I was finding sanctuary in books. My door firmly closed against the exploding rage in the hallway. I was reading a Victorian novel about a short-sighted woman. She was in a stone house peering out the tower window but could not see. Although I had spent my life up to the age of 13 unable to see clearly, my mother had finally understood that I was seeing impaired in my distant viewing. The optometrist called my vision bordering on blindness. When I got glasses, I was delighted by the detail in the distant landscape. Look at that, blades of grass. <laughs> so the passage in the Victorian novel created in me my first really deep understanding that circumstances can affect how well a person can see the world. Born in another age, I would have continued to be unable to recognize people as I walked toward them. It did not help my introversion that I dared not call out a name because I could not ascertain what the other coming at me was called. I made many mistakes and finally learned to not even attempt to connect. Perhaps some of that extra hot sauce on my introversion was created through the history of blurred vision in my circumstances. In the novel, the townspeople down below in the street thought the woman to be witch-like. She was reclusive and constantly staring down at people. They mistook her disability for some configuration of evil. Although I was only 14, I instantly realized that being born in another era, mistaking other people because of short-sightedness, mine or theirs, lacking compassion, were all possibilities in the birth lottery. I look back. I look at what I have become. I look at what I might have become. And there are so many pathways spreading out before and in previous lives. However, I can only sit with this particular now. My work at present is to be more gracious to myself. My harshness, my self-discipline, my complete nearsighted focus has served me well in my life. But I'm starting to open up to a clearer vision of myself as simply a child born into a life on earth who spends the next 70 years trying to find the ground beneath my feet. I have accepted that I cannot see clearly the particulars of this life. What happened? happened. What will happen is unknown. I walk barefoot in my garden, feeding my plants, or I sit and cry with the chanting of Krishna Das as I am becoming me. It is always now.